Today I'm going to be showing you my technique for re-glittering and restoring the cutie marks that a lot of Generation 1 My Little Ponies had, especially the very earliest ponies had glittery cutie marks. There are certainly some different techniques to it, and my way is just one way, but I'll show you what I do. So these are my ladies, some of the very oldest ponies that I have that I got when I was a little girl, like three or four years old. Uh, today I'm working on Moon Dancer, Glory, and Firefly. You can see their cutie marks have completely worn off. In fact, when I was a little kid, they were already gone, and I had the brilliant idea of painting them back on, which kind of stained the body a little bit. But I've given Glory and Moon Dancer a peroxide soak, which has helped to get rid of some of the staining, and I'll be starting from total scratch with nothing left for re-glittering these symbols. So here we go. I'm partway through the process, and I've actually already finished Firefly. Her cutie mark is back, and I will be showing you the process and what I do on Moon Dancer, who isn't done yet, but I just wanted to show you what I use for Firefly. You have to get replacement glitter for these ponies, and you're going to want something that is ultra fine, which sometimes you can find in craft stores, but sometimes you can't. I ordered this set of glitter from Cartwrights. For Firefly, I chose their 103 blue ribbon color, which seems to be a pretty close match, kind of the best I could find. I've read instructions for applying the glitter to these ponies using any kind of clear glue that you would like, but I didn't want to do that. I chose to use paint underneath the glitter, just in case the glitter didn't cover totally and to help it give it more opacity. I didn't buy any special paint for this project. I just had this Delta acrylic soy paint lying around. And this type of paint is a little bit healthier than most paints. It doesn't have the Surgeon General's warning that this paint may cause cancer. So I decided to use that for this project. For Firefly, I used my blue sapphire color. If you want to use paint, any acrylic paint should stick to the pony. Glory is also just about done. I did the purple and I've just done the silvery glitter. I haven't brushed off the extra glitter yet. For Glory's purple glitter, I used Cartwright's 79 Deep Purple Ultrafine Glitter. For underneath Glory's purple glitter, I used my Delta Soy Acrylic Lavender Color. I'm using the same silver for both Glory's stars and Moon Dancer's moons, which is the Cartwright's Glitter 20 Silver Bells Ultrafine. And since I didn't have any silver paint, I just used white paint underneath the silver glitter. Other things you'll need are some water for washing off your brush, possibly a palette if you want to mix the paint in it, and for a brush you'll want something with a really tiny point since some of these cutie marks are very small. So here's Moon Dancer. You can see I've already done her star. Uh, to prepare her for the application of the new cutie mark, I've wrapped up her hair and ponytailed her tail to just keep stray hairs from getting in the paint. So I'll show you how I apply her red stars. For the paint, I'm going to use this red paint called Red Apple to go underneath the glitter. And I picked also from Cartwright's this very cranberry number seven for the red of her stars. Of course, you want to be careful with this glitter. It is very fine. It gets everywhere. I recommend putting a sheet of paper under your ponies where you're working. So then afterwards, all the glitter that has fallen on it can be tapped back into the container. You'll need to lay your pony on her side for this application of glitter. And if you're impatient like me and you don't want to wait for it to dry, you can actually use the lid from this glitter or any other small lid that you have or any object to rest her kind of shoulders on to keep her bum off the paper when you flip her over to work on the other side. So I start with the paint, put some in the palette and pick it up on your brush. You really won't need much paint at all, just a drop. On my ponies at least, if I look at their bums, with the light striking them at just the right angle, I can still see the residue or the remaining impression of where the original factory glue that held the glitter on was. So if you can see that on your pony, you can use that as a guide as to where to put the paint for the new glitter. Another thing I recommend is taking a look online at what the cutie marks look like and making a quick little sketch. Moon Dancer has a lot of stars. If you're familiar with G4 and you think Twilight Sparkle has a lot of stars around her cutie mark, well, Moon Dancer has a lot more, so there must have been a lot more elements of harmony back then. So between my sketch and the old image of the previous time that there was glue on her butt, I'm hoping I can get the stars in the right spot on my Moon Dancer. You also need a tool to handle the glitter to get it from the container and onto the paint. And in my case, I like to use a soft 
dry, must be very dry, dry brush. So once I've applied the paint where the glitter needs to be, and before the paint dries, which will vary depending on how warm or cold it is, I use the brush to scoop up a little bit of the glitter and transport it over the pony's bum and then very gently tap the glitter off using a fingernail. Now in this case, I'm using my same hand to hold the brush and to tap it off, but that's because I'm holding my camera with one hand. Normally I would use my other fingernail for my other hand to tap the glitter off onto the wet paint. Then once you think the paint is dry, you can use the same brush, the dry one, to brush off the remaining glitter from the pony's cutie mark. And I keep saying you need to keep the glitter brush dry. That's because if you get any wet paint on it, it just turns into a little glob of paint and glitter in the bristles and it just makes a mess. So I really make sure to keep this glitter brush completely dry. The glitter brush can also be used at any time just to brush away any glitter that's kind of in your way. I don't worry much about the paint brush getting any glitter on it because it doesn't really matter as long as it's not totally gummed up with it. If there's a little bit of extra glitter on the pony's bum while you're painting, it's generally not a big deal. So here's a live process of me working on Moon Dancer stars. I've already done a couple. So using the sketch that I did as a guide, I pick up a little bit of paint with my brush and then try to, as best I can, paint a star over the spot where the star should be. And if I can, looking at the impression from the old glue and just basically filling that in with the new red paint. And again, I'm not worrying if there's a little bit of random glitter on her bum as I'm applying the paint with the paintbrush. I just try to make sure here while I'm scooping up some glitter and tapping the glitter on that I never touch the glitter brush down to that wet paint, even though it's kind of tempting. I just knock as much glitter as I have to onto that red star to make sure that it's totally covered with glitter so that it'll pick it up and have good coverage. Then I can use the dry glitter brush to brush away any glitter that's fallen on the spot for the next star and start painting the next star. So that's basically my process. I just go from one element to the next, painting each one, make sure I get the glitter on before the paint dries. If the paint starts to dry, I just put a little bit more paint on top of it or dip my brush in a little bit of water to kind of revitalize the paint, which you can do with acrylics before it's completely dry. And just go one star to the next, finishing all the stars on Moon Dancer's bum, and then flip her over, do the stars on the other side. When you're flipping her over, make sure you don't let the part that's still wet that you just did touch the ground. Um, that's why you could use a little prop underneath her, or just set her aside, let her dry for a few minutes before you do the other side, but it depends if you're impatient or not. And when you're done, she'll be covered with lots and lots of glitter. Make sure that the paint is totally dry. If you're a little concerned, let her sit a little bit longer before you start to brush the glitter off because you don't want to smear all of your hard work. So just, you know, wait till she's dry, start brushing off the glitter. I brush off on top of the cutie marks themselves where the glitter has been put, just not really hard, just lightly so that any loose glitter is going to fall off. You can also kind of tap the pony against the table that you're working on to try to dislodge some glitter that doesn't really work all that well. And that's it. You've got a pony whose symbol cutie mark has been restored to potentially as good as new, depending on how skilled of a painter you are. So these are my girls with new cutie marks. Glittery, pretty, shiny cutie marks. They're not perfect because this is one of my first times doing this. And although I have done some painting, I am still just, just couldn't quite get them perfect. But this picture shows off their best side. So I hope this video was somewhat useful and have fun restoring your ponies' symbols. Thanks. Bye-bye.